Hi everyone. This video will show you how to get more reviews and automate your review process. This is just one method to be able to do that. Depending on your workflow, there may be better options for you. And there is an endless number of ways to automate this, but here's one option using Airtable. You can copy this base by clicking the link in the description below. Anyway, we will get started here. So if you don't have an Airtable account already, there's also a link in the description below that you can click to set up a free Airtable account. The free account is limited to 100 automations per month. So if you have more sales than that, then you may have to upgrade or there may be another option out there for you that's better. And also on the free option, there's 1200 records per base allowed. So just a brief disclaimer up front, but anyway, this shouldn't be able to uh, get you started and increase your number of reviews to begin with. So anyway, create or click the uh, copy base option. It should be in the top row somewhere on your screen when you click the link in the description. And you sh there's a, a number of ways to set this up, but uh, the simplest, most basic way is just have one table here and make sure you obtain the customer or client email address. Um, that is an important part to automating your review process. But anyway, uh, you can add the customer in here. Just use my own email address. So the important part, you don't even need their first or last name necessarily long as you get their email address that is the important part and you can go into automations and i'm not sure i don't believe that the automations copy over for you so you will have to rebuild this a sequence but it is pretty straightforward you just go in click create automations you can name it whatever you want click when record matches conditions select the only table that there is and the condition is when email is not empty and there's a second condition that we will need to add that is when status is set to send we'll go back to our main screen here so what it's looking for is to make sure that there is actually an email address in the email address field and also status is set to send and it will automatically set the trigger and send your email that we are going to set up shortly here. So back at automations. So those two steps are set up and I can set a test here and it's not showing it because I have nothing. There. So send, I choose my record. So this record meets conditions. My email address is entered in there and the status is set to send. And we go into next action. You can set up your own if you use Gmail or Outlook. You can set it up so that it looks like it's being delivered from your specific email address. And that is what I would recommend. But for the this tutorial, I'm just going to use the send email option. It's delivered directly from Airtable. So from here, you can give a description if you want. So in the to field, we'll click this plus, and then we will scroll down to email. So this is the email address that's found in your data field. And then subject, again, you can say it whatever you want. This can be customized to however you want to set up. If you did obtain their name, you can say, I again click the plus button here, select first name, then you just write whatever you want here in the email. So once you have your desired a message entered, then from here you can click add action and you want to update the record that you found, you just select the emails table, click the plus again, select the Airtable record ID, choose field, you know, go down to the status field and mark that as sent. 
that it updates this to send so that you know that it has been sent for you and you don't need to send another one. If you want, you can make it a little more advanced and set up like an automation or a work, uh, sorry, a follow-up automation workflow, but that is up to you. So I can test this automation now step-by-step step if we want. So I'll choose the record. I'll go send email. I'll just generate a preview. This is how it would look. And you would put in your name here and you would enter your Google review link. Uh, the way you find this link here is if you go to your search your company name in Google and scroll down on the right side, click get more reviews. There is a link here that you can use to paste directly into uh, the email on the side. But anyway, let's continue here and I will run as configured. I'll run that test and you can see back in here, this has been updated to set. So now you just have to go ahead, turn that automation on and it will run for you. Every time that you put an email address in here and change that to send, the email with your review link will get delivered. So it is as simple as that. Hope you enjoy this video and hopefully it works for you.